Dr. Asim Badran, I want to welcome you to Hamid bin Khalifa University, College of Islamic Studies. We're delighted to have you with us to share your thoughts on architecture, on the human condition, on life. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, I want to begin by asking you to reflect and share with us some of your thoughts about the relationship between architecture and the human condition especially today yeah. in the idea of the urban environment. Yeah. Well, I think the idea of, of, of having this kind of relationship between, between the physical, which is the, the physical state in the building or the ability, and the human uh, being, which has this kind of both the physical and, and, and intangible, intangible uh, domain, how we can create this kind of, of, of marriage between, between this uh, uh, solid uh, statement and then the human with all his, his behavior and all his it's, uh, changing uh, uh, moods uh, through time. Um, I think this starts with me in, in, the, in the very early 70s and even in Germany when we, when, when we looked at, uh, at, at the city as, as the city with, with its furnish, furnished through its people. I mean, the people give the city meaning. So if you're building city with no people, so that, there, there's no uh, no uh, statement or no coexistence. So how you can create uh, an, an urban fabric or, 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 or let's say a concept of, of uh, uh, spatial concept which uh, evoke people's feeling, uh, give them related to the place and try to also to, to uh, give them hope that, that they, can, they can interact with this building and even if, if it's not their building, I mean, I can, I can, I can here I can get to, to something very important about the, the physical urban solid fabric, how you can create this solidity versus the, 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 the open space, how you create an, an, another open space which become like home for people to live with, to interact, to become more and more, more coincidental in the way how they, they can, can be creative to, to, uh, to utilize these spaces as if it's become their second home. So it's very important that that you have your private home, which is a solid, which, which is the cell or, or the, the isolate, and then you have the other home, is the, the community. Mm -hmm. So the marriage between the, the, the private and very secured and very, very disclosed uh, uh, um, uh, enclosure, how you, uh, of people living in that, in that very private uh, cell, which is their right to have this kind of, of, of security, and then how you create, how you, they can transform this, themselves from this small family to a larger family, which is the community, which create, uh, uh, which strengthen the relationship between people and give them, uh, uh, let's say, meaning of, of of how they can learn from each other, how they can they can they can become more and more exposed to the to, to the to the to the uh, to the event or to the to the human uh, knowledge. Uh, you don't need to go to university. The, the seat itself it, it, it teach you of the sense of of humanity, and this actually what I was trying to to achieve even in my very early work in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And I think I maintain this kind of a conception that, that, that how, you make, how you make this balance between, between the very uh, private, very, very, very uh, personal domain versus the public and, and, and the semi-family. Uh, uh, As if we're saying that even our houses, and when you go to Aleppo, to Marrakesh, the house itself, it, it was like a small city. Sure. You have, you have the solid part and you have the open, the open courtyards for, for the women, for men and for servants. So as if you are living in, 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 in this balance between the in and out. Sure. The out become more private, uh, semi-private or sometimes public, which is uh, open to the street. The street become like, like, like a corridor where people can sit, can play, can, they, can, they can have uh, shisha. So mm -hmm. it, it's... Um, and, and we have evidence when you go to Saida, for example, you take one, because we have also some work in Saida when we've been invited to, to uh, rebuild or to restruct, uh, construct the, the, uh, the um, what they call it, the um, waterfront of Saida, which was destroyed in 19, 1985, I think. Mm -hmm. And we won the competition. And one of our ideas is how to understand the city behavior. Yes. So when you go inside this city, you see a small corner where people yeah, we sell some 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 fruits, some some 
uh, the, the household uh, needs, and then afternoon it becomes like a place where you sit and, and have some some cigarette and some and some uh, sometimes they play. So it's it's a uh, it become like like an open salon mm -hmm. for for this kind of you don't need to have to prepare your house for for guests. Sure. So this is what I was trying to maintain: how you create open spaces, right, to form it, not to 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 make to form the place as if it's another house. Uh, forget about place making. Place making, how, how we make this place more active. But sure. many people uh, 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 sometimes they, they avoid talking about, about place forming. Right. Because it's the most difficult way, and I will show it in my lecture today, how we, how we intentionally try to create uh, place forming by having private, semi private, public. So this sure. story between moving from these different domains, it, it will it give you. A, lit, a, a playful place, place for people to meet each other, to, to learn from each other. It becomes the other school for them. Yes. So much of architecture deals with the social and sort of communal aspect exactly. of, of society, of yeah. the village, yeah. of the neighborhood, yeah. of the city. Right. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what advice you could give to students studying architecture today. How do we get a better understanding of the importance of those ingredients yeah. in architecture? Because we seem to have lost it yeah. in, in modernism, where the architecture becomes objectified. A statement. A, 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 statements a, 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 without yeah. any sort of essence. Yeah. We've lost the essence. And so how, how would you sort of advise students to yeah. pay attention to that aspect? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I want just to compare, I mean, something very important. Uh, study the, your, your body inside. Yes. It's a small city. It's a okay. small house. Yes. You have the lungs, these are the courtyards, you have the, 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 the stomach in the kitchen. So when you go to, yeah, subhanAllah, when you go to, to God, God uh, creation, how he, how, how he, how he uh, uh, shaped this human being, which has become also another city inside. Mm. So get inside your, your body. Mm. And then you can understand the meaning of architecture. Right. Not the, the shape of it. Sure. The meaning of it, how, how it can create a, a let's say, a, a sequence of, of, of social behavior. Mm. I can remember once I did for one of our very high official uh, Saudi uh, academician who has a very high rank in Saudi Arabia, I did for him a house. You know what he told me? I spent most of my time in the corridor of the house. Wow. Because it, it's like a sicker, like, like a small walkway. I can, I, can, I, can, I can enjoy the sunset, the sunrise. I can enjoy the... So it becomes like, like the actual living space. So uh, as if it's semi-public. So he forgot about his salon or his living space. So uh, this, for me, this was, this was a, a, an award. Of course. So, so that's why I will tell the students, please, please don't think about the shape. Take about it. Try to think to stay, to change your house to a small city. Yes. When you enter the house, you have you have maybe you can create a small walkway, a small courtyard. People maybe before they reach the 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 the, the actual door where you get in the in the in the, in the private uh, uh, domain. Try to create from that uh, journey, which maybe take maybe ten seconds or sometimes take some minutes because you start you know sitting, you 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 will be facing. Uh, uh, events which was non-planned. This become the accidentality of place, mm -hmm. and this will, will, will also transform itself even to the shape. The shape become broken, become clustered, not a, a big block, not a, a, a wow block, which become like 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 a box. Yes. So as if you are creating from the house a small city. Right. And this what what I started in the 70s, and this what it was published in many books in the 70s, and. And I maintain this concept in most of the building. For example, when you talk about the mosque, right? I change the, the title of the mosque become the small city. Yes. When I talk about 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 the hospital, it becomes the house of healing. Yes. So I, you're getting a house which has more humanistic approach. You don't want to fear the patient that he is getting in, inside inside a industrial look, uh, a very very expressive uh, impressive outlook. When you talk about the library. I, I create a city, small houses where people sit in their houses reading a book and then, you know, and I have 
maybe shall we I do a lecture about these these different different how you change the title yes instead of being uh, being just you know uh, 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 committed to to the, to the title as as literally I, I tried to change it to become more social social yes it seems to me that what you're talking about is this idea of the fitra yeah the fit are you the fitra? right fitra is our natural relationship to response each, to, to, to first of all to Allah, to Allah and then second to our human beings how but to be all, creative right but also to the environment exactly because yeah. we have to safeguard the environment it's yeah. we are given it as the khulafa fil ard right yeah. we are so we have a social responsibility yeah. Yeah. environmental responsibility which in many ways is reflected in architecture exactly. would you agree with that yes and even this part will, will evoke people to, to uh, add something even physically to the, to the living environment. Okay. So I say that I can also add to it, not just to, to, to uh, it's not like a car. I mean, this yes. building can, can, can grow like a cell. So yes. when you feel that this building has, has, has something uh, uh, provoke your, 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 your your uh, knowledge of discovery, because you are getting outside, you find that there are some accordance which have to be completed. So, and I did some work which, where, you, the, where the, the housing complex have different, different appearance, because if everyone to, want to, to put something of his dream in that house, Correct. Without, without, let's say, destroying or, or disturbing the, 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 uh, the, the, the public domain, uh, or the, the uh, let's say, the um, fluidity of the public. So, this kind of dialogue, this, this happened in, in our old city where people were dialoguing, discussing with each other how they can fit their, their boundary, how they can stop, how they can open uh, space for people to cross. So mm. I did that in one of the projects. And, and I think this is actually the middle factor. It's, it's a dialogue. It's, it's, it's the, the interaction with your neighbor. Not, not to live in, 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 a, in a car as if, as if it's become... A, once forever, yeah. You can change it. You can, you can, you can, mm. uh, 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 you can add or subtract. I mean, so it's it's yes. it's, a, it's like living organ. It's not, sure. It's not a. It's not a. And this is what I did also also in 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 in, in Maspiro uh, project when when we start looking at at the informal housing, which is a very creative approach. How this informality create a sense of of freedom between people. There is no segregation between rich and and poor. They are yes. all equal. Sure. So I think, and this actually statement is very important in our city, how you create cities where, where people feel that, that he belonged to that uh, space. It's not as if saying, okay, look at it, ah, this is only for this, and I am poor. Sure. I want to break this kind of uh, 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 difference, difference uh, gap or, or this huge gap between rich and poor through architecture. Sure, sure. And this was the meaning of our old cities. I mean, if I want to learn from tradition, so this part of it, how you can socially uh, 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 get this message that people were living in the same quarter, but you find the, uh, the rich guy uh, just uh, uh, close to, to some uh, house which belonged to a servant. Right. But you don't feel from outside. From sure. inside you can do what you want, but from outside there, there, there's, a, there's an ethic of, of the public space, how you yes. make it ethically. Yeah, so this is a point which is made about the ethics of architecture. Exactly. I want to go back to a very important point you made about the intangible heritage, which yeah. UNESCO, UNESCO just added on their World Heritage yeah. list, intangible. So language, food, you know, things that are intangible. Yeah. And uh, I wonder if you could sort of talk a little bit about that because language and architecture, especially the Arabic language, yeah, it's, yeah. it's very potent and rich with a vocabulary that is so uh, descriptive, yeah. right? Unlike other languages. And um, I've been interested in this idea of language and architecture yeah. because architecture is a language too exactly. right so yeah, for example, when, when you talk about al makan al makan al makan right is a place. the place uh, al makan when when you transform it in arabic at tamakkun that you 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 are, you are occupying occupying, the place. Yes. occupying imagine that one world give you yeah. two different fantastic yeah this one one something now i want just to talk about the heritage about something also 
uh, something different than what, what how, how people look to it to, to copy the physical uh, outcome to be copied that you say that it's Islamic. No, I want to talk about heritage when I go to the human behavior. Mm. How the human be, uh, behavior, how the, the mankind in that time uh, start solving his problems by using this intelligence. Right. And this intelligence being maintained to this moment. So right. if you can understand the behavior of that guy who, who created this building, then we can, we can, we can say that we are, we are, we are learning from, from our let's say, uh, human heritage behavior, okay. not the physical uh, behavior, not the physical outcome. Right. And, uh, and I will show it in my lecture today, how, okay. how we, 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 we understood the, the, uh, this uh, uh, very clever and very, very, very uh, rational approach, how they built their, their structure. And I took it as, 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 as a concept by uh, transforming it to, to a precast uh, technology. Right. People are surprised how, how I get to this uh, result. And yes. So that's why I, I think the heritage has to do, first of all, with the, this guy or this human being who, who was thinking, who was trying to solve these problems. Okay. Try to understand the way how he solved it. Right. And then take this uh, procedures uh, or this uh, increments and try to adapt it through your technology today. Sure. And it seems to me in the 70s and 80s, when I was a student of architecture, behavior, I, I remember reading House, Form and Culture, Amos Rappaport, yeah. Community and Privacy. There was a big understanding or a big desire to understand the human condition in relation to how we design yeah. buildings. But then we lost that. We, we went into postmodernism. More industrial, more, right? more technological. We, right. And now we are in a condition where we're completely divorced from. Confused. And confused. Dystopia. Yeah. Right. Uh, how do we sort of return to these sort of primary uh, elements in yeah. architecture where behavior becomes uh, a valuable uh, condition to be considered. Well, I think we'll, this will need some some kind of, of of a deep study about about this inheritance to understand why he did it and how he did it. I mean, why and how? This will give you the the, okay. the, the key point how you can you can you can behave in your in your in your uh, let's say today circumstances. Yes. Technologically. Physically and also even spiritually. Yes. So I think it's, it's, uh, it's uh, but you have to, to get the chance to have a client who can, who can, who can, who can grasp the idea. And, and, I, and uh. I think the Saudis, I have to say it, they give me this chance because they, 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 they have uh, established the, the, uh, the uh, Riyadh Development Authority, which was, which was uh, 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 yani under, under the story of, of uh, uh, the Prince of Riyadh, which was Prince Salman, who is now the king of Saudi Arabia, uh, he was insisting to create, uh, uh, let's say, a body uh -huh. which tried to, to re-understand the heritage through its human behavior, not through the physical approach. Okay. And I think you need sometimes from the officials this kind of, 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 yes. of uh, let's say, of... Uh, Concepts of, of yeah. understanding the, the the past. I mean, and you were referring to the Qasr al Hukum, Hukum Justice, the, the Grand Mosque, the Grand Mosque, yes. the Abbasid Center, and then yeah. the, the Ministry of Culture. So it was I mean, it was really. I mean, and here I was. I mean, luckily I, I was involved in this. Uh, let's say, uh, endeavor from from 1985 till this moment. Okay, and and that's why we need sometimes. Uh, some kind of, 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 of uh, impact or some kind of, of, of uh, interference by, by officials who, who are aware about this, who are concerned about this uh, subject. Right. Uh, and, and, and Alhamdulillah, they did it. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it's and, a fantastic and, project. I've seen it. I, yeah, worked, yeah. I worked in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so you, for, you know the, the, the... I'm familiar with Qasr al -Hukam. It's very successful. Yeah. You have many years of practice, maybe four decades, five decades of practice and of course your book is a testimony to the volume of work that you yeah. have done. What would you like to do next? <laughs> well, I Something think, that you haven't done yeah. because you've done housing, you've done yeah. public buildings, you've done 
massages, yeah. you've done urban. Maybe have to design aeroplanes. Because <laughs> <laughs> this was my, my major. You major. started off designing. Yeah, design aeroplanes and, and, and aerospace, aerospace technology. Uh, you know, I think um, now I am concerned about, about how you can transform this experience to, to something which become more and more intangible in the, in the, in the human psyche. Psy yeah. In the psyche. By writing, by, by yeah, to, to get away from, from this physical statement to something which more literature, I mean, yes. which uh, touch your soul, right. touch your mind without being influenced by physically. Uh, sure. So sure. just to, to dream, okay. Uh, so I think I'm doing this with my wife because she studied philosophy of, of history and, and uh, we are uh, spending every day some, some hours to write sh different chapters about very critical uh, uh, titles. And this actually, each title will, will, will maybe will spill out to be a book. Fantastic, so, this uh, is great. So we are doing that, and That's I hope that, that within, within one year we'll, 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 we'll have enough text, and then we will transform it to English, and then we accompany it with, with physical work, because it, it's not just talking. We are talking about okay. how, I, how I get in this experience okay. from 1969, or even uh, 68 uh, when I was a student. Okay. Because in that time I, I was part of the students' movement in Europe. Okay. I was travel makers, not through in, in, it, in the political sense. In, in the in the in you the, were an activist. In the in the approach, in the approach how how yeah. I envision architecture. Yes. And I think uh, from that point I start now uh, uh, trying to be to be not follower, to be the one who who give you the way how to not to think, how to feel, how to look to things, not right. to think. Yes. To look to so this is one of the things, you know, I try to remind students about. It's critical thinking. Yeah, exactly. Which we have lost, you know, in this generation because of social media, yeah. because yeah. of this sort of very rapid... Uh, it paralyzes your mind. I yeah, mean. it evades you. And the absence of reading, students don't read as much anymore. But I, I like what you're saying because it reminds me of so much of... The, the, the Quran asks us to reflect, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. don't you reflect, which is critical thinking. Yeah, Think about yeah. your relationship with God, humanity, yeah, the universe, yeah, yeah. right? All of this is part of what we do as architects, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And we seem to have lost that because uh, technology and social media don't give Come us... Over, over, over. I mean, we're overwhelmed by this. Technology. Yes, we're overwhelmed by. Yeah. Uh, we have friends that we've never met. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So this whole new definition of friendship, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the human condition is is primary, I think, in the in the Quran. You know, our yeah, yeah. our relationship to each other, to humanity, and to solve some of these problems. And architecture is one of the ways to approach. No, it, 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 it can maintain this kind of, 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 of values, I mean. Sure. But in our today architecture, the, the, the human values are being lost. I mean, been, we are just uh, the one to express yourself that you did something wow. I mean, wow for whom? I mean. Sure. Because you have to, I, I, I like to have work where an illiterate guy, when you look at it, he find himself safe. He find that it's, this is home, and this is what happened in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So many people, elder people who can't read, when you look to just Palace Mosque, you told me, Rasim, this is our house. MashaAllah. And, so and, it's that attachment to yes, place. Yes, and, 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 and you become more more related to your, to your, to your, to your land, to the sure. place. Sure. You want to defend it, not to leave it, not to have, to have another, another uh, citizenship and then to, to uh, you know, to escape your, your land to something, to another option. No, I, sure. I want to stay there and to, to, to fight for it and, and to give it all your soul so that you can, it's like, like, like an, an organism, an yeah. organ fabric, I mean, it has to, sure. to be fed by, by your presence. I mean, sure. So how you make architecture with, which, where your presence become more, uh, let's say, more uh, um, activated? Sure. I think what you're talking about is this idea of environmental psychology. Exactly. Yeah. Your attachment, yeah. your love of place, yes. you yes. know, is, is one of the things that I think we must pay attention to as architects, as urban yeah. planners, yeah. Yeah. to try to appeal 
to the human being in a way that makes him or her understand the value yes, yes. of this place, yeah, of this yeah. environment, to preserve and you can it. can defend it. To defend it, to preserve it, yeah. to make it sustainable. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And right? And to give it life. And to give it life, yeah. yes. Yeah, this is wonderful. Uh, a few, few uh, more points and then we can finish. I wanted to ask you uh, basically about your, your book and uh, what you try to share with the public in this book. You know, what, what was the main message? Because you talk about heritage and yeah. narrative. Beautifully illustrated book, inspirational. So it's uh, something that you, you, of yourself that you are sharing with the public. Yeah. But you're also trying to educate people. Well, I, I, I was trying through my book, maybe through the sketches, to my, my, my hand, yeah. hand uh, uh, illustrations, to instead of writing, how, how you transform writing to become a physical, physical uh, visual, visual, uh, 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 informative, uh, uh, let's say, uh, feedback to okay. the mind. So you, you transform this uh, physical statement to something more uh, uh, in your, in your subconscious, so that you start thinking as if you are reading a book. Okay. Through the through the sketches, so that's why I think the value of that book that these sketches show you the the worry, so 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 show you the the, the turbulence where, where you you are trying turbulence. to or 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 seeking for for the truth. I mean, yes. How far you can you can get this moment of, of truth? Excellent. Uh, and I think James Steele, when he wrote the book, he told me, I want to write a book for the whole world, not just, not, not just for Muslim and Arab. Excellent. And, and I think now, when, when I've been now working with my wife she, uh, every day, we are trying to put uh, issues about how we think about, about man-made uh, uh, environment. What's the meaning of environment? What's the meaning of, of that man-made? Mm -hmm. And how he do it? And why he is doing it? Mm. Yeah. And and uh, and I, I today I told you about the I, the idea of what if I mean what if yeah this yeah. this become very critical issue because, it's a big question yeah big it's question a, about a, everything I mean. it's a question that Plato Socrates and Aristotle ask yeah. right so we will we will <laughs> also go to this what if what if yeah, yeah. so uh, the idea of you know Plato's uh, allegory of the cave what yeah. if right what, yeah what the light you yeah. know yeah. the knowledge yeah. and so yeah. on. This is fascinating. I look forward to, to reading uh, your work with your wife. Yeah, when, when, we, we, when we translate to English, I think it will be translated. It, it, I think now we reach about 70 pages, uh -huh. I, 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 which, the, which divide to 20 titles, small titles. Fantastic. It's like, 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 like a, 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 what's the word? a booklet with different, 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 uh, yes. different uh, uh, what they call it, uh, different, uh, Chapters. Chapters, yes. So you, get, you don't get bored by, by having five pages, no. Only yes. half pages, about one chapter. And this one chapter will, 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 will also create a book for itself. Right. It needs, so, inshallah, we can do it. We are doing it. And, and, and uh, I have a small team who is translating the, this to English and then get back to, they read some books about, about what, what Foucault uh, wrote and what I mean, also. It's funny to, that you are trying to transform your experience, which, which you did physically, and you've been, been uh, d diving in, inside the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the let's say, the, um, the secret of, the, of that, that yes. uh, the memory, and the, yes. uh, how, how you create, let's say, not statement, but to worry about things. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think uh, it will be, I think the outcome will be, uh, I think, very important. We did that in, in the book. Uh, which was published by, by Al Fuzan uh, recently, uh, the about mosque. It's, we have written in eight uh, pages uh, uh, forward with my wife, with I think then five titles, small titles. Mm -hmm. I, I know that some people here wrote, uh, read it and they become very impressed about about the, the the type of title, how we create topics. Yes. In general, it's, yes. not, it's not personalized. It's, it's, it's about I've looking even worldwide about about a place place forming mm -hmm. the meaning of place, what's the private and what's the public, and and how we create this kind of communal communal, communal belonging to to the mm. place. 
which make the place stronger and become more and more, 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 let's say, more uh, aggressive in the ideas. Yes. So this aggressivity may be some people who try to avoid because you, you create a strength of community. Sure. sure. Our city, is, the base house being, being, being designed, the community is nothing. Yes. It's become like numbers. Yes. Know? Which I find, I'm fighting against this kind of, 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 of conception. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, in Saudi Arabia, they, 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 they trust me and they told me, Rasim, come, I want to, to, want to give idea, uh, your opinion about, about, about very important projects. And, and, uh, and, and you find how, how these world firms are, are, are uh, uh, treating these, these topics. I mean, sometimes I, I don't mm -hmm. want to comment now, but I think it, it's very worrying. Yes. I want to thank you for these enlightening remarks. It's, I hope it will be an inspiration for the students. You it's, inspired me, I mean, because uh, it, thank you. The, the way you uh, will be asking me and then you give me a, a, some pulse to, to, to get further in this uh, path, okay. I mean, maybe we have to work together. Thank you. I look forward to it. It will yeah. be a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate your time, and we look forward to your lecture today, thank inshallah. You. Thank you. Shukran, shukran.